Hey everyone, welcome back to Cooking with Shotgun Red, and I'm Sheila. I'm Jennifer. And we have a recipe here today we think you're gonna love. It is so good, and by yes. the way, if you're just joining us for the first time, welcome. Mm -hmm. And for all you returning subscribers, we appreciate you being here again with us this week. And don't forget to subscribe. Yes, and ring the bell. Absolutely, so you'll be notified every time we come ring out with a- Ring that bell. Ring that bell. <laughs> you know, you, we really gotta get you a bell. I know it. <laughs> She's just dying to ring that bell. <laughs> we got to get you notified every time we release a new recipe. So you guys are going to love this and we are going to take you back to the stove and show you how it's done. Yes, we are. All right, so we're just going to slice some 16 ounce of Velveeta cheese block. And Velveeta is really great. I know Steve liked to cut, you know, use it, cook with it because it melted so easy. He loved that. And not everybody likes Velveeta, but it really works in this dish. So I'm just going to slice these into cubes. And then... Eight ounces of cream cheese. We're going to do the same thing. Slice these into little cubes so they're ready to go. He used cream cheese a lot. A lot of dishes. Yes, he did. This will help. When we start to melt this in the pot, this is going to help having these cut up into cubes. So we're just going to set this aside. And then we're going to break out our bell pepper and get these all sliced up. And I, I love red bell pepper. I love that sweet bell pepper. And, you know, it complements anytime you're doing a dish like this. It really does add a little something. So we got the Dutch oven. Yes, and we got one tablespoon of olive oil, and we'll, about that much. We just pour it out. Yeah, we don't, we don't <laughs> measure. We just, we know. <laughs> and pats of butter here. Yeah, about, about uh, two, two, pats. two tablespoons, yeah. Pats a tablespoon in our language. Uh -huh. <laughs> about two pats. And our onions, our sweet onions. Got to have sweet onions. Yes. And a cup of that. And there's our diced up red pepper, red bell pepper. We're going to saute that up until it gets nice and soft here. And I always like to get this going before we put the garlic in. So yeah. now we're using one teaspoon of garlic and it's minced. Yeah, because you don't want to overcook the garlic. So I always just put it in, you know, after this gets going a little bit, and then go ahead and let it saute into the the peppers and the onions. We do love cooking in this Dutch oven. I do love this. I know why Steve used his so often because it, it's just awesome to cook in. And it, you know, it's heavy duty, but it, it really yeah. Cooks. Somebody asked the other day, uh, "Why don't you take a picture or something of the inside of his and see how much he actually used it?" Oh yeah. You have no idea how much he used. Yeah, we it. had to get another one that looked like it. <laughs> So then we just got some chopped up chicken, shredded chicken, and this is just leftover rotisserie chicken. Because, you know, they always have that deal that buy one, get one, you know, for like yes. for $10 at Kroger. So we just bought an extra rotisserie chicken and I just chopped it out, you know, and it all, right in there. Peeled, peeled all that chicken off the bone. And, and I'm going to just mix that all into that sauteed flavor. Mm -mm. Mm. Let it absorb all that flavor from those peppers and onions and garlic. I always like to do that, and then and then I always like to season the meat. See, when you go ahead and get one of those roasted ones, it's already got flavors that they have already put onto it. Exactly. You don't have to put too much, but I still add a little bit of garlic powder. And... Ground paprika. And this isn't the smoke, this is just the ground. And I'll put all the measurements, by the way, down below. Italian video. seasoning. Just shake some of that in. Uh, I never measure these things anymore. Mm -hmm. <laughs> as long as you get some color to it. That's right. Get some flavor in there. Yeah. But I'll put all the I'll put all the measurements down below the video, so. And we're just gonna mix that together. Mm, I like that. You could eat it just like it is. I know. That looks good and a meal. I could just have that in a bowl. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> Here we go with some um, Rotel mild tomatoes and green chilies. And then two cans 
Oh, cream of chicken. And I didn't have the same brand, so you're going to laugh. So I had some Campbell's, and then I had a generic one, I think, from Publix or something. So I, I just, or maybe it was Kroger, I don't know. But you just what you got. I, I just, I had another can. I go, oh, yeah, it calls for two cans of this. So I had another can here, so it looks like it's a little bit different color, but it doesn't really matter. It's still cream and chicken soup, so. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Look, it's a little bit different, but that's okay. It's all going to taste good. It is. <laughs> One processing plant to another, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to take this. If you got a can, it will work. That's right. And then we're going to mix that all together. Okay, and I can still eat it like it is. Mm -hmm. Then we got our, our water boiling over here. We're just going to break up our spaghetti pasta. And this is just, you know, regular spaghetti. And I put a teaspoon of salt in the water. And we're just going to let this boil while we're finishing up our chicken mixture. Here goes a Velveeta cheese block. So we're going to mix all that Velveeta and cream cheese in there until it's completely melted. <laughs> These glasses. I thought I might get some different glasses. Sheila. Glass. Sheila's wearing my glasses and she can't see today. <laughs> Don't put that in there. <laughs> She's like, don't, don't, don't read that. Sharp chitter. Yeah, put that in there. <laughs> Just going to melt a little bit of that in there. Yeah, the cream cheese and the baby uh, cheese block mixed together in there. Kind of turn that to the off. I don't want it to keep cooking. You're going to pour in one third cup of milk or half and half, either one. And then our cooked pasta that we've already drained. It's all ready to go. And we kind of cook this al dente, so you don't want to completely cook it where it's just, just keep it maybe like five minutes from where it's done. So, because this is still going to go in the oven. And we're just going to mix all this yummy chicken mixture mm. all over that pasta until it's completely covered. Mm -mm -mm. And it, that's another reason. You don't want to completely cook it because then it'll just get mushy on you. So, we're going to just... And if you don't have spaghetti noodles, then you can use... Another kind of pasta, sure. Yeah, you can use any kind of pasta. Somebody's mowing grass outside. I know. Well, it's either that or a dog barking, one mm -hmm. or the other. <laughs> all right, so now that we get this all mixed together, we're going to... Eat it. No! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it! <laughs> no. We're going to sprinkle a little bit more. Oh, yeah. Some sharp cheddar cheese. Just a little bit of this. And we're going to cover it with some more sharp cheddar cheese. There we go. We're going to cover it with this lid. And we're going to put it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 20 minutes. And we'll be back. That looks good. It is looking good. Okay, so now I'm going to uncover it, and then we're going to sprinkle a little bit more cheddar cheese on top. And we're going to let that melt. Oh, look at that. And it's done. Look at that. Yum. We're going to take a little bit of Parmesan, grated Parmesan cheese. Mm -hmm. And about one tablespoon of parsley and we had some fresh parsley in the garden so we just used that went out there and chopped some of that off and mm -mm -mm. look at that and sometimes people put a little bit of olives on there on top oh yeah anything i mean you could you know sky's the limit look at that I'll scoop some of that in the bowl doesn't that look good yes 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 mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's mine <laughs> She looks like every all the I'm first, claiming that bowl. All the first ones are mine. Look at it. Don't get down there. So you look. I can't get it in there. It's in. Okay. Uh, I like that. A little more Parmesan cheese. I like. need another parsley. <laughs> <laughs> I'll get you one here in a minute. <laughs> look. Mmm. Cheesy chickeny goodness. Look at that. Oh no, look at that. Ah. Oh. Doesn't that look good? Oh yeah. Let's eat some of this. Mmm. Oh, Ooh, look this at this. Like smell of vision. Absolutely. Oh. oh my gosh. Smell. Can you smell this? <sighs> you should be able to smell, really this. smell this. I think we need to try some. Yes. Let's do it. 
right now. Yeah. I'm starving. We're not even waiting for this one. Uh -uh. I'm just going to circle that pasta up and... Yes. Ready? I'm ready. Let's go. Mmm. Mm. This is good. Very this good. This is delicious. Very satisfying. It's uh -huh. so good. It is good. I mean, you can even put sour cream on it if you wanted to. You can do whatever you Anything want. Anything you want. Mm -hmm. Parmesan. Yes. Top on the... Oh. Anything. Oh. Mm. Good. You mm. have got to try this. Mm. Because it is outstanding. Mm. This is good. This is really good. Is this the best? Chicken spaghetti. If, if it, it ain't, ain't, it, it ought to be. be. We'll see you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Bye. Bye. All right, let's see. I'm eat. ready. Oh, my gosh. This is more. so good. Mmm. Oh. And that's a wrap. Well, that's Shishi and Jen Jen, them two girls having too much fun. We hope you enjoy this recipe, and we really hope you subscribe to our channel. That's easy. Little Shotgun Red's face will pop up over here in a little bit. When you click on it, it'll say subscribe, and then you're subscribed. Next to it, it'll be a little notification bell. If you click that little bell, then YouTube will send you every single one of our recipes or a notification that we posted one as soon as it comes out. See you next time right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. Is this the best? If it ain't, it ought to be.